So today I am taking my engagement pictures, although we've been engaged for like seven years, but I'm gonna take my engagement pictures today and I'm just gonna record. Um, <clears throat> I've been using this glow recipe, guava vitamin C brightening eye gel cream, which looks like this. And this stuff, like I really like how my under eyes feel with this. So, put some under there. Here. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I've also been using this Wishful Honey Whip um, Peptide Moisturizer. This really hydrates my face. This is what it looks like. I love this thing. I went into Ulta and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm looking for something that will like give me like moisture for my wedding day, for wedding pictures. And then he's like, oh, I know the right thing for you. So she told me about this and I'm just like, oh, it feels so good. So. We're doing our, game, our engagement pictures today. <clears throat> and um, it's been a long time coming. Um, I did get new products that I want to try. So I'm going to try them for my engagement pictures. And if they're good, then I'm going to use them for my wedding. And this thing is not opening. It's saying to peel. Got it. So I bought the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer, Face Primer. This looks like that. So I'm going to use some of this. Oh, it comes out like clear. Let's see how this goes. So it's not sticky which is fine. But, there's that. It does feel like moisturizing. Don't guess hydrating. But, anywho, um, I think I want to start off with my eyes because I don't know what I'm going to do. So, typically, you're supposed to wear like white or whatever you want to wear. Dude, I don't know how I just got that. I didn't have it this morning. But we're gonna wear black. We're gonna wear black. All right, I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill um, concealer, perfecting concealer in fair light pink because you know I'm super white over here. And I do not have an eyeshadow primer, I don't really care for them. I think it's all the same thing. So. I have been really into these flat sponges. Um, they're better than beauty blenders. I mean, I don't know, but just my opinion. So I'm just patting, patting, patting. So I don't know what eye look I'm gonna do. I mean, I have like a vision of what I want it to be. I'm gonna go into my Nudie Patootie palette. I'm gonna be using Undress, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna put it right here in my crease i'm not looking to do like a brown color i really want to just do like a white and then like black you know but i do want a transition color in here so i'm just gonna put brown and just see where it goes we'll see because i always do brown colors but i think for like a wedding i think it'll look more like Pretty white and black, you know? And this isn't a pimple. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I got hurt. I did buy this Morphe 9W Smoke and Shadow palette. This is what it looks like. So the brush I was using before, in case you're wondering, is the Morphe M514. Now I'm gonna be using the M431. Let's see, let's see.
We're gonna go into the black. Do we wanna do the black? I'm a little scared. We're gonna go into black. Dust that off. Let's see. What's up? I'm gonna try to shave my face. Mm -hmm. Ho, 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 Christmas in January. I just changed plans so i thought i wanted to do a black but the thing is i don't know what it is about my face but whenever i try doing another color that's not brown i don't like how it looks i feel like i look weird you know so browns it is <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go back with that nudie patootie color. Um, let me get it. I'm gonna do the Jaclyn Hill 32. It's part of the Morphe collab. So if you guys are able to get your hands on it, um, again, going back in with the um, nudie patootie palette, we're gonna go on this eye. I'm like, I already put some on here, but I'm gonna put some more just to make it more, you know. Um, <clears throat> I just took off this eye, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and see what eye we create. And I may use the same exact look for um, the wedding. Which, by the way, guys, oh my god, I forgot to say, I'm getting married. I think after 12 years, right? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go into Tati Beauty. I'm sorry I'm using this palette, but I know that it's already, you know, no longer a company, but it's a volume one palette if you guys have it. If you guys don't have it, don't worry about it because I'm sure you can find any of these shades in any other palette. But I'm gonna be going in with the smooth color, just a regular matte color. And I'm sorry if you hear my daughter in the background, you know, she's having a fit right now. I'm going to go into the crease, like lower than what I put the other color, just a tad. And if you see, like, I'm just going like windshield wiper motions. So, you know, like this, going up and around, you know, just like that. And when you start seeing that your colors are getting a little crazy, you can go back into that first transition color that you used and just blend it all out so that way it can look more seamless. Does that, that make sense? Then, with the, I don't know if I told you what other color I was using. I mean, I did, for the brush. It was the Jaclyn Hill 40, which, again, the Morphe um, thing. Clam. Um, I'm going to go in with the Ritual, which is this dark brown color. So I'm just tapping in there, tapping out the excess. And then I'm going to go a little bit lower than the crease. So it's still around the crease, but a little lower. So this is the crease right here. So I'm going to go just a little lower right here and then start building the outer corner like that going back into that brown color and just making it darker see just like that and i think i'm gonna go with this palette i wanted initially a white color i'm gonna go that white <laughs> so we're gonna see what colors i got here i got this but i want to use that i want to use that 
from this. Oh, I really want white. I'm gonna use the uh, Aura. This one right here. Let's see how this looks on it. We're gonna go back to our crease color. And we're gonna blend that all out. Which was the Nudie Patootie, the Undressed. This one right here. Blend that all out. Blend out the outer corners. See, I feel like this is like an eye that I always do. And I wanted to do something different, you know? But. <laughs> I guess not, you know? I guess not. All right. Let me do the other eye. All right, I'm back with both eyes. So. I ended up going with the Tati Beauty. The ritual one, this brown one here. And then the Nudie Patootie, I ended up going with Nakey Nakey, this other dark brown one here. And I did like a triangle. So like I went like this, up like this, and then like that. You know? So not a full triangle, but like a line here, the line there, to make it like, like this. You know? So I did that to both sides. And of course, you know, it looks messy right now, but when you put like everything else on here, everything will be fine. But this also is gonna like le like elongate my eye. That's how I want the effect to look. And this brush is from Amazon. You know, it's just, it came like a set of brushes. This was like one of my first brushes that I ever got. Um, and I really wanted to start into beauty and stuff, but. And then you just go like this. I mean, I could have also used tape too, but mm, I didn't use that. With the uh, undress color that we used, <clears throat> just gonna blend everything in. Put everything in. Pinky strings. What do you got me? Huh? What do you got me? A smoothie? I'm gonna make chicken with cheese and nuggets. Right. Now that I'm done eating my McDonald's, I want to eat the chicken. Let's move on with the face. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna be doing like waxing my eyebrows. Um, the Saturday before my wedding, so I can be nice and fresh <clears throat> for the wedding. So I use the Elf. <clears throat> light brown like pomade i guess you can say i don't know so basically what i do is i just dip my brush in here and then i just go like this to the edges so i don't have a lot of product i make sure i brush my brows up so i see any spaces that i need to fill them in i usually fill in the front right here because that's like where like there's less hair and then sometimes I fill it up right here and right here, but I don't even do a lot. That's good. And then <clears throat> I go in my NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. 
it's just in clear and I just go over it just to make sure everything is nice in its spot but sorry about getting on bomb and then this one can I put some more up here all right guys so I got the hourglass vanish stick foundation um my color is cream because i'm white like paper i've been wanting to try this out for so long so i hope i hope it looks good Let me look up close because I'm in awe. And I didn't put under my um, underbangs because I don't want anything under there right now. I want to put concealer under there. <clears throat> Let me see. Wow. It's like if I'm wearing nothing. Let me put under like where I need the help. Like right here. Right here. I'm, I'm shook. Like what? You can't even tell. I love this freaking foundation. Wow. Wow. Alright, now we're going to go back with the Jaclyn Hill concealer. And just because I think this is probably going to be a little too pinky and too dark. I am going to put my Maybelline. Is this Maybelline? I think it's Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, I think this is the color Fair Clair, I think. But we're going to put some of that on. Okay. Now, I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. So you see, like, I want more coverage right here. Um, I do have the Elf Hydrating Camo Satin Finish Concealer. We're going to put some right here because I want that coverage there. And then we're just going to blend it out. So I bought the Elf putty bronzer um what shade is this in tan lines let's see how this works okay so i'm just gonna put my finger in there and i'm gonna just dot where i want this at course we want this to be bonds too okay now <clears throat> close it up and then i'm going to use my regular bronzer brush <coughs> it's the Lori los angeles l14 so let's see Mind you, I have not set my face just yet. <clears throat> okay. So, I think I'm going to go into my setting color. I have a Jaclyn Hill palette that I got on Black Friday. 
and have not used. Yay for me. <laughs> okay. If I can open it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, we're gonna just use it. We're gonna, we're gonna see what this does. Okay. So, let's see what this paper does. Q, Q. Okay. I also have Jaclyn Hills translucent um study powder study powder this is what it looks like we're going to use that too we going to use it too i think i should go in with a more a fluffier brush i think this will be good hello So basically, I'm setting my whole entire face. I don't want this snap to move at all. Okay. Now, I'm also going to go in with another face powder. And it's just because I want to see how this is going to look for the day of my wedding. Because I'm going to be photographed. And with photographs, you gotta look your best. Am I right? So I'm gonna patch, I'm gonna test a little part of my skin here. Okay, yeah, that's good. Make sure that it's. What the hell is that? You guys saw that? <laughs> I'm gonna do everywhere. So I wanna test this out. You know? There was this foundation from Sally's that I loved. And I swore by it. Me and my sister, you, can, you, you could have used it like wet or dry. Like it was great. I don't even know if this is the one that you can use too. I know that, but it was great. And so I was like, let me try out another face product. Because for the day of your wedding, you don't want nothing to be moving. Like, you want everything to be set. Like, everything. And that is what we're trying to do here. What we're going to do now is bronzer. I tried to find the Physician Formula bronzer. I could not find it at all when I went to Ulta. I don't know if they took Physician Formula out of Ulta. But I couldn't find it. So, back to my hula. Um, this is the benefits one. It's the mini one. What color is it? Mm, I don't even think it has a color. It's just this. So we're going to use that. I wanted another one like the Physician Formula one because I really like how that one looks on me. But I could not find it. And then you want to go down. So that way there's not like, you know, always blend down to your neck. Great. And then for my nose contour, I always had a brush. I mean, I could use this, but I don't want to use Oh, I can use this one. This one's a Jaclyn Hill, the 34, or no, the 39 with Morphe, but I'm gonna use it as my nose contour. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this. Don't you worry. It's not gonna look that dark. I just... And then, And then what we do is we go back with this, or I can go back with the, with the other sponge, but I can actually go with this. 
line down here and then like that and just tame it down okay my nose still looks natural okay put some blush on I do buy a blush oh yeah cover girl um morphe the m405 <coughs> and then this is the cover girl um 360 sweet seduction true blend so flushed yeah this is what it looks like so we're just gonna tap it in and then we're gonna tap it out on your hand Right, so now we're going to get the Morphine Continuous Setting Mist and we're going to go ahead and mist our hair. What? We're going to mist our face. While that is drying, I do want to go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hills. What is this? It's the Iced Highlighter. All right, so we're going to go in here. All right, so we're going to go with the um, Ardell Natural Lashes, which looks like this. Um, I do have the Lily Lashes Clear Lash Adhesive, and we're just going to go ahead and curl our lashes right now. I did want to go in with... Um, <clears throat> some sort of like brown or black up here so that when i put the lashes on it doesn't look weird so i'm gonna go ahead and tap in with this black from this morphe palette the one that i told you guys earlier the 9w hey at least we're using it right <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and just tap black on the eyeshadow just in like a line So that way, when I put the lashes on, you, it doesn't look weird. And it looks like full. Does that make sense? See how that makes a difference? Looks like my eyelashes, like my lash line is fuller. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. Okay, so these are like Lily lashes. Okay, Lily lashes, those are real good. <laughs> Easy. Okay, these are a little bit long, so let me get my scissors real quick. I'm gonna cut them. Yeah, we'll look good. These are super natural, so I think I'm gonna go with my wedding with like something more where you can see it you know because these yeah and it means something more vavoosh, but not too vavoosh. you know but i do like how these are much thinner than lily lashes put that one on wow you don't even feel like it's there Hmm. The lashes are not on. 
<clears throat> Wait, so the lashes are on, so we're gonna go ahead and put. First, I wanna put a lot of. Um, powder underneath here. mascara on and I don't want it to mess it up. So I'm gonna go in with this is black light. Okay. I'm gonna go in with Nakey Nakey from the Nudie Patootie palette. <coughs> And then with the ritual. I'm gonna go with the waterproof. I think this is like cream. Was it cream? No, it isn't. Silky nude. And the waterline. And that's just to open up my eyes. I'm gonna put black in the waterline up here. So we're gonna just line our lips. See how this looks. Mm -hmm. I think this is how it's gonna be. And that is it for the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos.